Gaga refugee camp is one of only two refugee camps in the east of Chad. For the last two decades, this camp has hosted roughly 28,000 Sudanese refugees. It is here that we find Mariam Mohammed, one of the new refugees who have arrived in the camp. Mariam is from Darfur and has witnessed firsthand the brutality of the violence that has rocked her country. The Janjaweed militia attacked our village early in the morning. They killed livestock and burned down houses. 62 people died in that attack. We fled and crossed over into Chad. The men went back into the village to collect the things that were not destroyed by the Janjaweed. Out of those men, 11 were captured by the militia. They cut off their arms, their legs, and gouged out their eyes. Mariam and her three daughters managed to escape, but none of them knew if their husbands are alive or dead. They got separated from some of their family members during the attack. It took her and her family 14 days to walk from their village to the Chadian border where the UNHCR received them. We've lived in peace since 2006, but now the Janjaweed are constantly at the border. They're using horses to attack people, and they're killing and torturing people. Those continuing attacks have pushed up the numbers of refugees crossing into Chad. The UNHCR plans to relocate 10,000 new refugees to Gaga camp. Already, the refugee agency is expanding the infrastructure in the camp to accommodate the new arrivals. So far, 1,000 of them have been settled here. We have so far put uh, uh, services, uh, like uh, family shelters, for uh, uh, to host, uh, uh, let's say, 2,000 refugees. But the construction of the family shelter is still ongoing. Uh, we have also put, you know, established uh, uh, water infrastructure uh, and sanitation. And we are even putting uh, solar, solar public light, you know, uh, to ensure that uh, we, 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 we use it as a measure to prevent uh, uh, gender-based violence. Such measures will go a long way to make refugees such as Mariam and her family find some semblance of normalcy in a land they will call home for the unforeseeable future. Penina Karibe CGTN at the Gaga Refugee Camp in Chad.